Hey everybody, this is Mario with the Dub Shop, and today I want to do a little tutorial on adding a custom channel in Tuner Studio. Uh, today we're going to be adding a, a pressure gauge input. So I have Tuner Studio open here and I have a test project already, so I'm just going to open that test project. This is going to be for a 100 psi ratio metric um, fuel pressure sender. What that means is the output is not scaled at zero, zero volts equals zero pressure and uh, five volts equals 100. So ratio metric is going to be 0.5 volts is zero pressure and uh, 4.5 volts is 100 psi. So let's get started. Uh, with Tuner Studio open, we'll go up here to tools and go to the add custom channel wizard. We are going to use simple, um, and for our input channel, we will use ADC6. ADC6 will be spare ADC on your micro squirt ECU. For channel name, we are going to call this fuel underscore pressure. The underscore is needed so it can save. If it's empty, it won't allow you to save it. This will be in PSI for pressure. Our transformation is linear, so that's going to be a linear scale between uh, our zero volt or zero pressure and 100 psi. So we are going to use uh, volt to ADC conversion of 10 bit. So there's 1,023 steps in between our voltage values here. So 0.1 is 0.5 volts, and that's going to equal zero pressure. 0.2 is 4.5 volts, and that's going to equal 100 psi. Click next. Now we want to add a gauge template to that, so do the same thing for name, fuel underscore pressure. Our gauge title will be fuel pressure. This can have a, a space in it because it's going to be just like our engine speed up here. Units, again, is going to be PSI. Category, uh, I'm just going to create a new category and call this custom channels. Okay. The output channel is we created on the previous screen. We'll do uh, zero. 100 as the maximum. We don't need a low critical. Low warning will do 30 psi. High warning will do uh, 60 should be fine. 65 would be critical. We'll do one decimal place. So after that, we want to be able to data log this, so we will also select that. Our logging name will be fuel pressure. Same output channel. We don't need to change the value format, and we will also make this a point one decimal place. Once we're done here, we can do finish. And I'm going to just take this pulse width gauge and right click, and I'm going to go down to custom channels, and it's available for us. So I'll click that. Now I'm going to turn my ECU on. I'm going to sweep the pressure. So we can see we have full sweep from a half a volt to four and a half volts. And then we can also test our data log to make sure it's showing up in our log. So um, I'm using Tuner Studio Ultra, and I'm going to go up here to the graphing and logging. I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to start a new data log. As we can see, we have our log now. So what I want to display is fuel pressure. So bring up our tuning uh, dashboard here. Down here, you can find fuel pressure is what I just created. So we'll click on that. There we go. There's our fuel pressure. And once I raise this up, you can see our fuel pressure raise up and 
drop down and it's displaying in real time. Down, up. So that's pretty easy. I'm going to stop this log because I know it's going to show up in my data log now. Go back to the gauge cluster. And there you have it. That's pretty easy, uh, pretty easy setup to get uh, your fuel pressure input into the ECU. Uh, next, you would just need to uh, install your sensor uh, in your engine, in the fuel line. So if you like this video, uh, like it, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to do more of these tutorials. Uh, if you have any uh, suggestions for a tutorial you want to see, uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Thank you very much. And uh, until next time, I will catch you guys later.